This segment shows the uh, System 99 attached to the underside of a 75 foot hook and ladder, what they call a stick. And we're using it here to lift and lower what's called a Stokes litter, which is a uh, basket with a patient in it. Now if you notice you'll be able to see the drum turn here in a second. You'll see the screws on the front of the drum cover turning. You'll also see the ropes moving. There it goes. And this is how you lift your patient. Now pulling on the rope is um, Matt Miles again. Notice how he pulls down, holds the rope under the handle, slides the handle up, repositions his grip. Now he's got the patient fully elevated. We're going to show him lifting it again. This is a much safer way to lift and lower a patient than to use the stick, you know, the hook and ladder as a kind of a crane. Right now we're just using it as like a sky hook or an anchor point. Now the litter has um, generally one or two lines so it doesn't spin belay lines they're called. Here's Matt lifting again. Notice he's pulling with both hands and he holds under the rope to hold tension on it then he lifts. And the um, Stokes has a bridle with four straps. Alright now they're rotating the ladder to the left approximately 90 degrees to clear the roof. By the way this was taken in a hospital. Worker was injured on the roof as the simulation it has to be transported. This is a lot easier and safer than trying to carry him down steps and things. Now you see there's two belay lines, one left and one right. That's so that they can keep the uh, litter from spinning or rotating. This did not happen to be a windy day we were doing this, so spinning was probably not going to happen, but it's a good practice. Because then the belay can also be used to uh, steer. If you don't want the ladder uh, you don't want the Stokes litter banging into the building or anything. Now uh, Matt actually still has the free side rope. There's the back side of the system. He's going to start lowering. He's on the um, roof at the same level where the litter is right now. Over to the right you can see the handle. He's holding the man there. You can do that with like two fingers. Anyway, so now we're going to bring the uh, bring the victim down to the ground to a uh, another fireman who's waiting down there for him. You can see the ropes moving. They move at different speeds. Okay, now he's clear of the roof. Now here's the fireman on the ground. Um, he's using that rope as a as a belay, as a rope to steer the litter, while the other end is being steered by uh, one of the firemen who's still up on the roof. Here's a shot from the ground up. And this patient happens to be stable. So it's fine to move him very, very slowly. We could go faster if there was, if time was a, an element here. We're doing it intentionally slowly so that you can get, uh, 
you can take your time and view all the different um, things that are involved in doing this. This is again called a high angle rescue. And so we have him uh, just about on the ground here. And that will take care of this segment. Thank you for listening.